Hello and welcome to this video about the trend corrected exponential smoothing, in other words the Holt model. A uh, Holt model is appropriate for uh, when demand is assumed to have a level and a trend in the systematic component of demand, but it has no seasonality. Seasonality comes into play when uh, we're talking about holds, no, when we're talking about a uh, winter's model. Uh, winter's model is the next video. Um, this video is about uh, chapter 7, forecasting in the supply chain. My name is Frank Evers, lecturer at uh, Windesheim University. Um, for the trend corrected exponential smoothing, we use several uh, formulas. Uh, those several formulas are in, uh, come into play in different stages. At first, we have to um, uh, we have to come up with a level and a trend for period zero. We do this through regression analysis, and so dt is alpha t um, plus beta. And when you want to uh, calculate the trend for period zero, that is alpha, and uh, the uh, level for period zero is b, is uh, beta. So if we re rewrite those uh, formulas into a forecast, the forecast for next period is the level for this period plus the um, trend for this period. Um, if we, um, uh, the further stage is that we have to calculate the level and the trend. The level is always with the alpha. The uh, trend is always with the beta. Um, those alphas and betas are uh, smoothing um, uh, components for uh, smoothing your, uh, your forecast. Um, so, the, um, uh, the level for next period is the alpha for uh, this demand of the, of the period plus uh, 1 minus uh, the alpha times the level and the trend for this period, as we're now in period T. Uh, the trend for next period is the beta of the difference between the level next period and previous period. The level for next period, Lt plus 1, we just calculated with the earlier uh, formula. So the, uh, the result of this formula you fill in in the next formula. So that's why you have to um, come up with an answer to this formula first before you can answer the trend formula. Um, when you did so, when you calculated the difference, you do that times beta, and this goes plus 1 minus beta times the trend of this period. These are the uh, uh, models, these are the formulas we use with Holt's model. Um, when we use uh, Holt's model and we want to use Holt's model in an um, uh, in, uh, we want to calculate with Holt's model. Uh, the book comes up with the uh, example of the MP3 player of demand. The MP3 player of demand has several um, uh, uh, demands and has an alpha of 0.1 and a beta of 0.2. Um, yeah, let's let's work that out on our uh, on our whiteboard. So what what happens is the following. Based 
on the demands in period 1 till period 6, we come up with um, the level in the trend for period 0. We do this through regression analysis. In earlier videos we uh, also used regression analysis. Uh, regression analysis itself um, can, be, um, uh, can be found in statistics. Um, so the uh, level for period 1, level period 0, is 7,367 and the trend for period 0 is 673. So the uh, forecast for uh, period um, in this case period 1, is 7367 plus 600, uh, 673. Why? Because we have the formula, formula, uh, the forecast for time plus 1 is, um, uh, is the level for time plus the trend for time. So that is forecast 0 plus 1 is level 1 plus trend, no, is level 0 plus trend 0. That is 7367 plus 6. Mm -hmm comes with a forecast of uh, 8040. So the forecast for period 1 is 8040. Um, we need these uh, input uh, characteristics to calculate next um, um, next forecasts. Because what we um, uh, what we do is the following: we want to uh, make a forecast for period two. Now we made a forecast for period 1 based on regression analysis. Now we're going to construct a forecast for period 2. So these are the general formulas. We're going to rewrite it for period 2. So what, what happens? For uh, calculating the level and the trend of period zero, we use regression analysis. Regression analysis was discussed in earlier videos and is part of statistics and uh, therefore we will not discuss that in supply chain management. We uh, use regression analysis based on the actual demand of period 1 till period 6. Um, if you do so, we calculate the level and the trend for period 0. The level for period 0 is 7367. The trend based on re regression analysis is 600 673. This all adds up to the forecast of period uh, 1 of 8040. Please recall the, uh, the standardized formula of Ft plus 1, F2, is Lt, L0, plus T trend 0, trend T. 
That's what we use here. If we now want to calculate the, um, uh, the forecast for period 2, we have to rewrite the formulas, the standard formulas. Based on the forecast of period 2, we use the level for period 1 and the trend for period 1. Please recall this standardized uh, formula used here earlier. For calculating uh, the level in period 1, I already rewrote the formula and this is the formula. Alpha times um, demand 1 plus the difference in the alpha um, times the um, um, level period 0 and trend period 0. So let's fill in that formula. Level 1 is alpha. Alpha is 0 0.1 times demand 1. Demand 1 is given and is 8,415. This is plus 1 minus 0 0.1 times Level 0, level 0 we calculated earlier was 7367 plus the trend was 673. Um, if you um, calculate this formula, we will come up with the uh, trend for period 1. That is 8068. 8078, I'm sorry. Now we want to, uh, now we got the, the level 1 for the uh, first period. Now we're going to calculate the trend in, um, uh, in period 1. So that is trend 1 is beta. Beta was given is 0 0.2 times level 1. Please recall um, the level 1 is uh, we calculated here. So you have to calculate this formula before you do this formula. That's 8,000. Minus the level of the earlier uh, period. That was um, 7,367 plus 1 minus the beta, 0.2, times the trend of period 0. The trend of period 0 was 673. If you, we uh, would uh, calculate this formula, we would come up with 681. So the level for period 1 is 8,078. 8, uh, uh, the trend for period 1 is 681. So the forecast for period 2 is 8,008 plus 681. So the forecast for period 2 is uh, 8,759. In this way 
we calculate with Holtz uh, model. We can also uh, do this for uh, period 3, period 4, period 5, period 6 and so forth and so on as new data becomes available through these formulas. Please recall Holtz uh, model can be used if there is a trend and there is a level but there is no seasonability. Um, thank you for watching and uh, next video is about uh, Winter's model. In Winter's model we use uh, trend, we use level and we use seasonability.